Hello, my divine kings and queens. I'm back to do another video. Um, today's message, what we're going to be going over is a continuation from the previous message that I did about um, that your next love is going to be your true love. The message for today, God is telling you that you have to be very careful that when this person comes into your life that you don't push them away, right? The thing is... Um, the thing is, a lot of you just went through different cycles, right? Where you went through the same situation, but maybe it manifested in your life in the form of different people, but it was the same situation. And so however many times, you know, you had to go through these cycles, maybe it was, you know, three different cycles you went through this or four different cycles you went through this, right? But through different people. And you kept saying, you know what, I'm going to be believe in the Lord, that the Lord has something good for me. I'm not going to let it change me. I'm not going to alter how I view marriages or relationships, right? But you got to the point where you said, you know what, I give up on it because I can't trust and I can't just open up to anybody no more. And I understand where you're coming from with that because it says in the Bible that you have to guard your heart for what everything that you do flows from it. But you have to understand something. Even though God, God wants you to guard yourself and protect yourself, he doesn't want you to do that and push away to the point where it pushes away the right person that he is bringing into your life. You have to understand something that you had to go through these cycles that you encountered through these different people who were of the world. So if they cheated on you, if they betrayed you, if they lied to you, if they strung you along, if they depleted you, if they did not invest back into you, if they put no effort into it. You have to understand that you have to forgive these people because they serve the purpose, a purpose in your life. And you have to understand that sometimes the people, the very people that we love so much, it hurts us when we realize that these people are only sent in our lives to teach us a lesson, a very valuable lesson and whatever it is that you had to learn, be it you had to set boundaries for yourself, you had to have more respect for yourself, you have to have value for yourself, you had to love yourself more, maybe you was too passive, maybe you were too aggressive. But whatever the case may be, you have to find that balance and understand that you can't let what these people did to you allow you or pushes you to not allow the right person into your life because that's exactly what the devil wants. See, you got to understand something, the difference between a kingdom spouse, right? And the person that is meant for you to be your mate, right? As opposed to where you guys have a spiritual relationship that's blessed by the hands of God, as opposed to having a worldly relationship. And what I mean by having a worldly relationship, right? That means that you know, whenever you get in these relationships, if a person asks you, oh, you know, I want to do a threesome, you know, at least I ain't cheating on you. We cheating together. No, that's a worldly relationship. If if a person coming to you and being like, oh, you know, let's let's go ahead and pick up someone from the strip club or let's go and do this. You, you would know the difference between a worldly relationship and one that is blessed by the hands of God. You know, so we don't have to go down the list on that. But what I'm trying to tell you is that's the reason why you went through these things. But see, the thing is, God is going to say the test isn't going to be when this person comes in your life. The test isn't going to be whether or not they're going to be like the people who you've encountered in the past. The test is going to be whether or not you're going to be open and vulnerable to this person because you've already said you don't want to trust no more. And see, the thing is, what the devil wants you to do is not to believe that a true relationship and true love really exists out there. That they don't want you to believe in the kingdom spouse or believe in the kingdom marriage. Why? Because he is trying to alter people's viewpoints on this because he doesn't want that to happen. He doesn't want you guys to come together as one in order to effect change, positive change in people to really start believing in marriage and taking it seriously and valuing it. That's why you have a lot of people getting into it just as quick as they get married and get divorced. You get me what I'm saying? And see, it's not enough people who is really valuing the people and valuing their spouses and their mates. I said before in a previous video where I said we have more baby mamas than we have wives. And as part of it is because, you know, if a person does something to you and you allow them to continuously come back and play on your mind. But maybe in whatever way that in fashion it may be, maybe they buying you something. Maybe they coming back and giving you gifts. Maybe they coming back and giving you money. That is things of the world. And you fall for it every time, which is why these relationships and these long-standing five-year, 10-year, 15-year relationships, it doesn't lead to marriage. 
Because a lot of people are saying, well, everything that I get in this relationship, I'm going to get in the marriage. So what is the difference? So a lot of it, like I say, you know, whatever your your viewpoint of a relationship and or your viewpoint of, of a long-term relationship leading to marriage is, I need you to change it. And I need you to get yourself right before this person come into your life. Because God is telling you that, are you going to be ready for this test of love? Can you pass this test of love? Because this person is coming. I've been working on this person. I've been grilling this person just as I've been grilling you. They've gone through the cycles just as that the same cycles that you've gone through. And they had to learn lessons. And they went through that phase too of saying, you know what? I can't trust no nobody, man. Ain't nobody going to be right for me. But see, I'm going to bring you to them. And then they're going to meet you. I'm going to bring them to you. And you guys are going to come together as one. And I'm going to have my hand over this. See, this person isn't going to leave you, isn't going to treat you, betray you, or lie to you, just as these people did in the past. Because you have to understand something. This person is not going to be of the world. They're in this world. They're not of it. Likewise, the things that would have been able to tempt a person who was of the world is not going to tempt this person. They're not going to be able to get to this person. They're not going to be able to lure this person away from you. This person going to fight for you, not fight against you, not fight with you, but fight for you. Because this is the person that I intended you to be with. This person is the person that I need you to come together with. So can you pass this test of love? Because your heart is ready to go on. But can you open up? Can you be vulnerable again? Are you going to pass this test of love? Don't push this person away. Your heart is ready. Your heart is ready. But are you? Are you going to be ready? Ne Your heart is ready, baby. Your heart is ready. But are you going to be ready? God is telling you he needs you to be ready. Start getting ready. Start getting ready. Start getting ready. Don't push this person away. You're going to know who the person is. Person, not persons. Person. This person wants you. This person is ready for you. Don't push this person away when they come in your life because God needs you to come together with this person. This is your kingdom spouse. This person is really going to take that to heart. To death do y'all part. They're going to take that thing to heart. They're going to value you. They're going to entrust you with their heart. So you have to be able to entrust them with yours. That's the test. Don't rope this person up because how people did you. I just told you. That these people was of the world. I just told you you had to go through these cycles. But this person won't be right for you. This person is not going to be like anybody of the past. Because they're not going to be of the world. And I want you to understand that if you need a friend, you got it in me. If you need inspiration, motivation, a life example, you already know you got it in me. I'm your sister. I'm your confidant. I come with that real. I don't come with that fake. I keep it 100 with you. I keep it a buck with you. Okay? I need you to understand that. I need you to value that. And I need you to reach one, teach one, and bring others to the JC gang. And understand that we ride together, we slide together, JC gang for life. Happy New Year's. Okay? And understand that I love you guys. I truly do. I truly do love you guys. And until next time, stay prayed up and be blessed. I love you.